Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you can get all my videos. Things are going to get very interesting on my YouTube. I'm uh, doing some other things to switch it up. Not switch it up completely, you, you know, just to add new things and stuff like that. But, you know, I think I'm a, a pretty original when it comes to... I haven't seen 3D cartoons yet. Maybe there is, you know. But I do this because sometimes I get a little too busy. And sometimes it's just cool to just, you know, uh, do 3D cartoons. But yes, I will be doing my own information in front of the camera also. You know, uh, I just uh, upload just to be consistent. You know, and sometimes I upload an easy way. Sometimes I upload a medium way. You know, sometimes I just go ahead in front of the camera. So... Anyway, I'm not going to take too much of your time, and uh, let's go ahead and talk about Jesus Not God, part two. Salam Alaikum, welcome to our channel, please subscribe and ring that bell so you wouldn't miss one video of the Islamic Prince channel, let us get into it. The second in a four-part series discussing the biblical evidence that Jesus is not God 7. The Bible says that the disciples did not believe Jesus was God. The Acts of the Apostles in the Bible details the activity of the disciples over a period of 30 years after Jesus, may the mercy and blessings of God be upon him, was raised to heaven. Throughout this period, they never referred to Jesus as God. For instance, Peter stood up with the eleven disciples and addressed a crowd saying, Acts chapter 2 verse 22, Men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders and signs, which God did among you through him, as you yourselves know. For Peter, Jesus was a servant of God, confirmed in Matthew chapter 12 verse 18, Acts chapter 3 verse 13, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus. Acts chapter 3 verse 26, God raised up his servant. When faced by opposition from the authorities, Peter said, Acts chapter 5 verses 29 to 30, we must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus. The disciples prayed to God just as they were commanded by Jesus in Luke chapter 11 verse 2, and considered Jesus to be God's servant, Acts chapter 4 verse 24, they raised their voices together in prayer to God. Sovereign Lord, they said, you made the heaven and the earth and the sea, and everything in them. Acts chapter 4 verse 27, your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed. Acts chapter 4 verse 30, of your holy servant Jesus. This is exactly what the Quran states of Jesus. Quran 1930, I am indeed a servant of God. 8. The Bible says that Jesus was God's servant, chosen one, and beloved Matt. 1218, Behold, my servant, whom I have chosen, in whom my soul is well pleased. Since Jesus is God's servant, Jesus cannot be God. 9. The Bible says that Jesus could not do anything by himself John chapter 5 verse 19. The Son can do nothing by himself, he can only do what he sees his Father doing. John chapter 5 verse 30, I can of mine own self do nothing. Jesus did not consider himself equal with God, rather he denied doing anything by himself. 10. The Bible says that God performed miracles through Jesus and Jesus was limited in what he could do Matt. 9-8. But when the crowd saw this, they were awestruck, and glorified God, who had given such authority to men. Acts chapter 2 verse 22. A man attested to you by God with miracles and wonders and signs which God performed through him in your midst. Acts chapter 10 verse 38. He went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. If Christ was God, the Bible would simply say that Jesus did the miracles himself without making reference to God. The fact that it was God supplying the power for the miracles shows that God is greater than Jesus. Also, Jesus was limited in performing miracles. One time when Jesus tried to heal a blind man, the man was not healed after the first attempt, and Jesus had to try a second time. Mark chapter 8 verses 22 to 26. Once a woman was healed of her incurable bleeding. 
The woman came up behind him and touched his cloak, and she was immediately healed. But Jesus had no idea who touched him. Mark chapter 5 verse 30, at once Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? Mark chapter 6 verse 5, he could not do any miracles there, except lay his hands on a few sick people and heal them. Quite obviously, someone with such limitations cannot be God. The power of miracles was not within Jesus. 11. The Bible says that at times of weakness angels strengthened Jesus. God, however, does not need to be strengthened Luke chapter 22 verse 43. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him, in the garden of Gethsemane, Mark chapter 1 verse 13, and he was in the wilderness forty days being tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and the angels were ministering to him. Men need to be strengthened. God does not because God is all-powerful. If Jesus had to be strengthened, he must not be God. 12. The Bible says that Jesus wanted God's will to be done, not his own Luke chapter 22 verse 42, not my will but yours be done. John chapter 5 verse 30, I do not seek my own will, but the will of him who sent me. John chapter 6 verse 38, for I came down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. Are some members of the co-equal trinity subservient, and less than equal, to other members? Even though they have different wills, I do not seek my own will. Do they obey without question the other's commands, the will of him who sent me? Jesus admits to subordinating his own distinct will, yet according to the Trinitarian doctrine they should all have the same will. Should one of the triune partners have to forego his own will in favor of the will of another member of the Trinity? Should not they all have the exact same will? 13. The Bible says Jesus regarded God's testimony as separate from his own. Jesus regarded himself and God as two, not one. John chapter 8 verse 17 and 18. I am one who testifies for myself, my other witness is the Father. John chapter 14 verse 1, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. If Jesus was God, he would not have regarded God's testimony as separate from his own. Please subscribe so you would not miss part 3.